This is Hanging Heavy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator. And today, we've got a couple people joining uh, up front and here right now. You hear those horns before, you know it's about to go down. Whenever you hear them horns, you know I'm talking about my boy, Malbolgia. What's going on, people? What is that? Lie. Fucking powerful ass song. Uh, before we go any further, I just uh, want to go ahead and shout out Mal Bolja. Today's his birthday. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter what day it is, but. Uh, um, but yeah, fucking shout out to my boy. We. Uh, had dinner earlier, but before we talk about that, at the top of every show, we have a tradition around here where we do a shot, we chug a beer, we take a big old gulp of our drink, because we drink when we record this. So, you have yours ready? Yes, sir. I have mine ready. I had a fine of imported malt liquors. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's put it up, and uh, happy birthday, man. And one, thank you, thank you, thank two, you, thank you. three. Ah, smoke. Smoke, 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 smoke. But yeah, <clears throat> we went out earlier and we had some dinner. Had a, a fucking steak place and... Uh, what did you order, birthday boy? I ordered a, a 16 ounce or one pound of prime rib. <laughs> and how was how was it? Oh, it was great. It was, I mean, honestly, not to be a nasty one anymore, but I think the one I do is, is a little bit better because I, I seasoned the shit out of it. But it was pretty decent. It had a nice crust on it, and it was cooked... Um, Medium rare, so I can't complain about the, the about the cook and yeah, but they just give a little bit more seasoning. Yeah, I That's noticed. Complain. I noticed that about my steak as well. Mine was a little bit on the medium rare side. I prefer more medium, but I mean medium rare ain't, I ain't nothing wrong with that. But mine was also fucking lacking seasoning. <clears throat> yeah, I noticed that. Like, I, I mean, I, I got it because they were slammed, so they were just like yeah, cranking them up probably. But yeah. They're running out of salt back there? What the fuck? I would imagine. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's the only complaint I had about mine. It did, didn't taste like fucking anything. The steak was cooked well, like you said, but it just it didn't have that oomph, right? That one thing that put it yeah. over the top. And like you said, I cook steaks at home better than that. <clears throat> yeah, but cook at home, you season it to... To your liking, yeah. Yeah, to your liking. I get it there. They can't, like, over-season everything because, I mean, everyone is different. and uh, It's easier to add more seasoning at the table than it is once you've already added it on, right? It's harder uh, to take it off than it is to put it on. <clears throat> so, I ain't going to be complaining about it. My steak was good. and I hadn't had steak uh, in a long enough while. So, yeah, fucking, it was pretty goddamn decent. I mean, you know, it was okay for me. I, I get it. They were slammed. Like, the last time you, the last time I went on a Friday, I, I, I ordered the prime rib again, and they didn't have any. They went out, so I figured that... What kind of shit were, is they, that? They might have run out today, because, like, it was super packed. But no, I guess they make more on Saturdays, I guess. And on Fridays, we only make one, like, one selling rib roast, and whatever comes out, comes out. And yeah, um... That's true. <clears throat> but yeah, how the fuck do you run out of steak in Texas, bro? 
Hey, well, bro, it's because it's uh, now, the primary is not really a steak. Come it's uh, on, about, they cook, man. They cook and yell in the whole rib roll. So whatever cuts you get out, of, that's what you get out of it. Like I don't know, they they cook two, three, two, three rolls or ten rolls. I don't know what the but once you are not, you just can't get one and throw in the oven. It takes like over an hour and a half to cook. So I get it. But I, I went Friday early and I was like, already? Like, already you are out? Yeah, because they start serving at 5 and it was like around 7. I was like, you're already out? Like, maybe they didn't make any. Yeah, maybe they only they, made one. They were probably out since like fucking Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we don't get our truck until Monday. So you mean to tell yeah. me you don't have the rib, our prime rib, right? Yeah, right. Oh, it's a, it's a standing river that's from river. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was... Uh, so how did you... Yours are good, just under season? Yeah, also just under season. It was good. What, what did you order? I had a New York strip. Oh, and I haven't had one in a long... I haven't had one in a long, long time. I like to get them because they're not too much steak, but it's kind of hard to fuck it up if you overcook it, you know? Yeah. It's it's the stick choosers cut, right? But they're better cuts. <clears throat> that's just a cut that's really hard to fuck up. And they didn't this time, so I'm not going to complain about it. I could put salt on it myself, and I did, and it was fine. Nice. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Uh, how's it feel? One more year closer to death. One year closer to death. Nah, no, it's just aches and pains, man. Aches and pains. I'm, I mean, I'm at the age already where like, I don't give a fuck anymore about birthdays or <clears throat> anything well, already. You're working out. Uh, 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 can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear. You. you can hear? Yeah, yeah, you hear now. All right, I just switched to Verizon. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> or Sprint, wherever that idiot works at now. Fuck that! I don't need that shit in my life. <clears throat> oh shit, well fucking, speaking of phones. I've had my phone for... Hold on, let me see. Let me see when it came out. Official launch date in America. Uh, it is a Samsung... Galaxy. No. Okay, so my phone launched in August of 2018. I'm rocking the Galaxy Note 9. In I'm only rocking the Note 9 because I had the Note 7 before. And uh, for any of you that don't know... Uh, what happened to that one? God damn it, Bobby! Well, I don't know, Dad. Dip, 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 uh, dip, dip. Let's just say that phone was the bomb. <laughs> That's enough of that. <clears throat> but yeah, fucking. So the Note Nine launched in August of 2018. We're in what 2023? That's a five-year-old phone, six-year-old phone. Let's All right, let's get so it. I mean, when the phone came out, it was fucking twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, the most I expensive wanna... phone I've ever fucking bought. I figured it would last at least two, three years. Nah, um, and the the only the only the only meant to last a year. So you upgrade. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're meant to last not even a year, man. A lot of the time, the batteries die, and this is more or less around the time when cell phone makers started making glass backs and non-removable batteries. Uh. Uh, so yeah, fuck all of that. But yeah, phone been running great for the five years. Uh, holds up to whatever I throw at it. I mean, it's only a phone, so I don't throw much at it. Surf the web, YouTube, uh, take some notes here and there, and text messaging. <clears throat> uh, but it's a USB C device. Uh, this is when they, like, I guess, essentially started making them. Uh, standard Samsung and uh, yeah. fucking they're let's see what a USB C port USB C port uh, 
Let's see, so long, uh, how many? Uh, so USB port, USB-C ports are supposed to be unplugged and plugged in at least 10,000 times. That's the average lifespan, sometimes more, sometimes less. It sounds like bullshit. <laughs> yeah. They'll, they'll break after like five times and shit. Yeah, well, I've had my phone for five years and uh, gone through various different chargers and shit. And uh, two days ago, my USB-C port finally, it finally died. So, uh, all of the fucking accessories that I have, <laughs> dongles, cords, batteries, external batteries, uh, chargers, uh, car chargers, all of that shit is useless now. So, uh... Surprise, motherfucker! Uh, dude, you don't understand how shitty that is until it happens? Like, I was like, how the fuck am I going to charge my phone? It, right. Uh, I, it Real charges old. wirelessly. Thank God. You like Frankenstein? Uh, put two wires over your house and <laughs> cable. Charge it with lightning? Yeah, lightning. It's, that's right. Uh, no, so what? I looked up. Uh, the front glass is broken, right? So, I mean, I, I need to get a new phone in the near future, right? <clears throat> I'm just... Uh, sealing these wounds with band-aids yeah. they're gonna need a a permanent fix so i looked into what it takes to change the charging port and for all of the you work to yourself yeah it's possible it's like you're if, gonna hook it up if you yeah my big dumb mongoloid hands for sure yeah so yeah you like you're supposed to take off the black the back glass without breaking it there's like 20 little tiny, tiny screws that y you can't lose. So fucking, I saw all the bullshit that they make you do just to change a part. The part itself no, is part, like... The, you have to make it extra hard so you don't do so it. Like, you yeah, to, like, so that you just buy a new phone. counter clock right like a, like, like a fucking... Uh, <laughs> like a... Like, like, like a fucking bottle fails. You have to hold it down and twist it. Yeah, it's got child luck. Uh, kind of yeah. clockwise. Yeah, so fucking... I said fuck all of that. Uh, I have a couple of wireless chargers, so I'm not stressing charging it. I have one on my bedside counter. And I have one in my man cave slash studio. So, I mean, I'm more than capable of charging my phone, but... Like like I said, all the accessories that I have for it now no longer work. So now I have to buy all new fucking accessories that charge wirelessly. They sell cell phone holders that you like use in the car that charge wirelessly. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to have to either shut up and shell out for a new fucking phone. Or like I said, uh, use a crutch and walk it out until the wheels fall off. No, oh, well, now, now that I have everything that's wireless, I can get a, a flashlight to charge your phone wirelessly. Yeah. Uh, well, well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, if it's not wireless, then it's fucking useless to me now. And and I looked into getting Samsung's uh, two-year-old phone, the S22 Ultra. Oh, and that phone is still a fucking grand. It's like a three-year-old phone at this point. It's already still at a How do they get... Another thing like a Vuvo, how do they get so expensive? Like, it's because they're made with the, premium... I don't know. ...materials. They're not more expensive than laptops. Yeah, I know. The, because it, it has everything on the laptop. has a smaller... Yeah, like, that's essentially like what the it materials, is. Like the, the, like, like the materials, like... So you cost that much because a laptop has more material. Uh, yeah, yeah it, like the interior is mostly plastic. Uh, most phones now have some kind of metal chassis. Uh, Apple, Samsung, they use aluminum. I'm sure Motorola and... Who the fuck makes phones anymore these days? <clears throat> Google? Oh, yeah, the Pixel. That's true, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to ride it out as long as I can until I can't fucking take it anymore and have to either buy a shitter phone in the meantime that I can charge... And take the hit in the luxuries of life, which I don't mind. I'm 
kind of trying to get away from using my phone so fucking much anyway. So, I mean, maybe it's a good thing. It still oh, sucks, what? Dick. Aren't you get one of those old phones that, that you have to text with a... With a the T9? Uh, yeah, the T9 q had. Fuck that, dude. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind getting, like, a flip phone or something. Because, like I said, I use my phone mostly for phone calls and text messages anyway, but... To send a text message on T9? Fuck that. Oh, I remember I used to be really good. Uh, yeah, so text. did I, but that's because we had to. <laughs> you don't have to anymore, man. You get a full-size digital keyboard on the screen. <sighs> but you know you know what I miss? I miss uh, phones that had a full-size keyboard on it. Like the oh, first... Like the... What's it called? Like, 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 like a top kick or a kickback? The, side, the side kick. kick. The sidekick. Yeah, the sidekick. What was that? Uh, who made that? Motorola? I think so. Well, yeah, like the first Android phone I ever got, uh, this was back when AT&T was known as Cellular. Or US Cellular? What was it? Oh, yeah, US no, Cellular. No, it wasn't Cellular. Yeah. What the hell was it? It was something with a C. What was it? It was Cellular. What else did it mean? Uh, what was AT&T? Uh, singular. Singular. AT and T. That was an AT and T. That yeah, was AT and T. Uh, bottom out. Oh yeah. Well, did it turn like uh, into cricket, and then then they got a lot out after that. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that was pocket. I don't remember. I think pocket, pocket became cricket. Yeah. yeah. Uh. But yeah, fucking the first Android phone that I ever got. Um, it was an HTC. HTC was real big back in the beginning of Android. But HTC, it, I don't remember what it was called. The Tilt or something like that? Oh, yeah, I think I remember. And, like, that phone, the screen shifted up and out, like, in a, sem- a semicircle. And underneath the screen, there was a full-size keyboard. That was cool, and Android was new, so I was like, fuck it, let's try this shit. Uh, it turns out that phone was faulty, so I had to take it back. So I went with a brand that I knew already, which was Motorola. Oh, shit. And one of their first Android phones was called the Backflip. Now, the reason why I was interested in this phone... I don't think I ever heard that that phone. Okay, so if you look it up, essentially what it is, it's like a tiny little fucking 4-inch, 3-inch screen on the front. And uh, what it had, it had a big hinge, and it folded out, right? So it opened up flat from the middle, and the top part was a screen. And when you flipped it out, the back part of the phone was a full size or like a full QWERTY keyboard. But it was physical, right? Like it had a, the little bubbles that you could tap, and you could. It was tactile. You could feel it. The keyboard wasn't crunched up like a, a BlackBerry. Like, you had space to use, so I was down for that. On the back side of the screen, there was a touchpad. So, like, this phone was way the fuck ahead of the time. Oh, yeah, like that. It was cutting-edge technology. Mm -hmm. I think the phone I had before that was the Razer. So, fucking the backflip, dude, that was a... I love that phone, man. I, I used it until it died. Uh, but, dude, they don't make cool phones anymore. Everything's just a square. Or a rectangle. Right. Well, I think they know what works, so why, why deviate from the phone? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, everybody started covering the iPhone, so... Yeah, I, mean, I that, think that's what it did. I think that's what did it. Uh, I think the iPhone made fo- cell phones boring. Yeah. Uh. So thank you, Steve Jobs, you bastard. So yeah, that's uh, some shit that I get to look forward to. Fucking my phone dying. First world problems. Pretty much, yep. Uh, But yeah. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. So we'll hear a, a word from one of our sponsors. And hopefully when we get back, we'll 
has some other guests. Uh, Richard. A recipe coming all the way from the Villa Antigua, handed down generation to generation. This chorizo is so juicy, it'll end up running down your chin. You'll be hooked from the first taste, all the way to the last drop. Some have described it as finger looking good, but this chorizo is so good, it's, it's finger, finger sucking, sucking good. good. <laughs> O como decía mi abuelita, tan jugoso que lo vas a mamar sin parar. Get it today, el chorizo de papicitos. Pero cuidado con el chorizo, my need it for later. Shout out to papicitos chorizo. <laughs> it's making me hungry already. <clears throat> During the break, my boy Malbolsha had to take his leave, but oh, what's that? Some somebody come in through the back? Hmm, what do I smell? Is that nutsack? I'm talking about Puppy Ray. <laughs> what's up? And what the fuck? Haven't heard this music in a while. I'm talking about my boy Garbage Fire showing up. Now that I know what will be the second act, I, uh, I don't love you anymore, man. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> save, the, save the best for last. Or the main stage or whatever. The, 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 You're the headliner. Headliner, there you go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking, we got the bo- we got the boys here, and yeah, I mean, fish fucking early tonight, so mm, I can. Let's go help out Desi, <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> Hold on, give me a quick. S- and we're back. Uh, just had a little technical hiccup, but everything is fine, and we'll move on. So, fucking, it's been a while since the entire squad has been here. So, uh, during, I mean, we, we, we have a group text of the dumb shit that we find online. And uh, Garbage here found a teaser for a new Peacock TV series for the TV show Twisted Metal. So we're going to go ahead and watch this teaser uh, on air. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just, you'll hear the audio of it. If you want to look at it, go fucking look at it yourself. And uh, are you boys ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, play. Ladies and so gentlemen, it, start your engine. It, it stars Anthony Mackie as, <laughs> as who knows actually. But they tease a uh, sweet tooth. Oh, spoiler alert! Fuck. And it says July 27th. That's it? Yep. It was less than 50 seconds long. Uh, it is a teaser, not a trailer, so uh, whatever. I mean... Oh, shit. <laughs> mm, bless, Sorry about that. Bless you, puppy. <laughs> I mean... You can't tell. It doesn't seem shitty. <laughs> Yet. Pretty much. But the, are are any of you into like the Twisted Metal like lore and all that stuff? I used to be hardcore Twisted yeah. Metal. 
and they, but they stopped making them. Yeah. The parents like, got every too time mad. They came, yeah, every time they came out, I would buy it. So yeah. you went to well, also correct correct me on this one because I I was actually not a fan of Twisted Metal. What I so. I told you this before. I, I think we're fans of the things that we see first more than because it's good or not. It was. So good. I thought Vigilante Eight was better. Vigilante was a great fucking series. It was. It, it was. It was good. I liked it. Um, it I felt like the the and I actually had this argument today with someone else because we were talking <laughs> about this. Um, uh, I thought the physics, like the game physics for Vigilante Eight, were a little bit more realistic. And you could maneuver better in the game. That's why I kind of liked it better. And the story seemed a little bit more just Cohesive. simple. Yeah. Um, obviously, like Vigilante just wasn't as successful as Twisted Metal. And there was only like two games in the series. And that's it. But I just didn't like Twisted Metal's physics. Because it just felt like a block moving around in a map. And the, it was just a block. Like it, the block <laughs> never moved. It was just up and down and flipped over that's like those are the three things that you had to do it so it felt very it felt shitty. chunky yeah. yeah it felt chunky it felt shitty when compared to visual any but obviously it was had bigger explosions obviously it would attract more people faster but um I mean, but, ca- can you remember the character of rigid nt8 I remember all the cars, and I remember half of the storylines. So, for example, it was what looked to be kind of like a Camaro or a Viper. That was the main chick, which was the cop. Uh, it was the guy with the fro, which uh, it was Jefferson, his name. He had like a lowrider, and he had the his special was like a, a boombox, right? Like, so it would like kind of like like a with blast. The music. Yeah. yeah, like a blast. Uh, I remember the little tiny car. I forgot, but it had, that one had the Gatling gun. I hated that car. Um, so there was one, two, three, four. It was the trailer as well. Uh, it was the alien that you had to unlock. And then from the bad side, it was... I'm trying to remember. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. No, the trailer was part of the bad ones. Uh, the... The tow truck. I remember that one. And I'm missing one, I'm missing one. Oh my god. <laughs> I think those are the ones that I remember right now. Oh, but I'm pretty sure like if I pull them up, I'm gonna There's a bus. Oh yes, the bus. And then we had a flamethrower too, didn't we? I think so. I remember. Because the, the bus was the fart. I remember that one. Like you would you would have to waste your like the smoke coming out and if you mm-hmm. passed over it would destroy so I at least remember the weapon. And then the trailer, the truck. Interesting. This is the ones that I remember, and I don't remember. Oh, the bee, the bees, also, the ones that would follow you across the map. I hated that card too. But that's all I remember now. <laughs> was there more? I'm know. sure there was, dude. You remember I, I, way more than I do. So I remember the Camaro, the, the lowrider. I remember I the like... the lowrider and the bus. I don't remember any other cars. So, I mean, I used to... Dude, I, I I had that car for the PlayStation. When it got scratched, I bought another copy. And then when it came out for the 64, I bought the 64 copy. I don't have to be buy, uh, worrying about it. Uh, getting scratched anymore. Oh, So, yeah, like I, I, I love that, that game. Like It was a really fun game to play. And the thing about uh, that game was that... Um, I used to play in the Boys and Girls Club. So you had you always had people to play with, yeah, 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 which which made it even more fun. Yeah, well, there was another game that I played uh, that was very similar. It was called Interstate. Okay. It, it, it's essentially like Twisted Metal, but in like a sandbox kind of open world. Okay. It it was essentially the same thing, but shittier. <laughs> like uh, uh, there was way less to do because it was so open and empty but I fucking loved playing that game because you could rip across the highway and fuck shit up <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but yeah, fucking, I don't know, man. I, I don't. I didn't like in the cutscenes how stupid Sweet Tooth looked. Like when they did live action cutscenes in Twisted mm-hmm. Metal. Cause in the game, or yeah, the yeah, in the game. Because you know how in the game they would have cutscenes and they were like uh, action or live action. Yeah. I I hated the way they always made Sweet Tooth look. I don't know why. Just I could no never budget. get. I could never get <laughs> down with it. And they tease Sweet Tooth in this, and it's more of the same shit that I hated. So I don't know. So, I, I, I'm not too optimistic with this. So I only remember the story f- for. Um, dang, I'll probably get another game. Twisted Metal, it was just like, grant me a wish. That's all I remember. But yeah, like, but every had, had a backstory. I don't yeah. remember the backstory. So I, I, I think the only one that I liked was Black. Everyone before that one, I just couldn't play. So like when they came up for the PS2 and they chose like a great a great song to kind of bring you in, I was like, okay, like what is this? And that one was the only one that I played, but every other one I just couldn't stand it. Man. And I think like wouldn't they change the story like every game? Because I know at the beginning was the dude, uh, what was his name, Mephisto or like he had a weird name. Uh, yeah, 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 Mephisto. My first or something like that, he was the one granting yeah, yeah. the wishes, and then eventually he became a playable character, and yeah, then someone yeah. else took over. So it was just really, uh, and I get it, you're not playing that game for the story, but come on. Like, at least give me something that's consistent. Yeah. Um, fuck. Uh, at Black, I always wanted to play it, I never got around to it. I think the I last played. Twisted Metal I played was the third one. And that's, yeah, I was already like, yeah, they can't really do any much more with this game. I'm kind of over it. But that first one, dude, that first one was fucking like. Well, the, you would be wrong. They did something else with it. it. It was like the perfect storm, right? Because it was a new genre of game at the time. And then it had an amazing soundtrack. Yeah. And for me, that's what sold it. I'm, that game made me fall in love with Rob Zombie. Haley. Yep. You know what? I want yeah, the to... one that you want it. Hey, yeah, I'm a super beast. Dude, that game was so hype. There, there was another game. Uh, my buddy had it. I think it was on Dreamcast. I don't remember what it was called, but it was like a demolition derby kind of game. And you could, uh, the, my favorite car to use in that game, it was a hearse. Because, like, you could get a custom paint job that was purple and it had, like, old school hot rod flames on it. And, uh, with the hearse, like, since it was considered one of the heavier cars, like, if you hit a jump and you landed on somebody hard enough, you could fucking blow them up. So when it would do that, it would be like, death from above! And fucking, <laughs> shit was crazy, man. They tried doing something afterwards with uh, Twisted Metal. They kind of made them into like RC cars, and that was the game. What? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, it was like some kind of dumb, like, uh, internal arena inside the arena game. Yeah, it was weird. Um, I was like, it was kind of cute, but I mean, yeah. I think at that point the genre was. They were done. Yeah, like, what's the point? Yeah, I, I think that could have been a genre they would have kept on if they were. Yeah. That's but, say, they should bring it back. If they could, think, with like, uh, like garbage said, with better uh, car graphics. physics, Ooh, yeah. dude, I would play the fuck out of that. I, we have like, dude, I mean, you, you're telling me like you can't bring it back. I'm not, I'm not asking you to give me something like Forza, right? Like, I don't, I don't need, the, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't need, need a simulator. <laughs> yeah, I don't need the fucking water to reflect the sky and the bird that's like a thousand miles away. No, no shit, like just. No just give me something that is not a block. Just make the cars not feel like a fucking uh, square of concrete. Yep. Driving on ice. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. The, the trailer itself, it's... I to don't me, know. It, it didn't look bad. 
And but I'm not saying it was great. Either. Yeah, it's yeah. Still iffy. It's still iffy. It's very uh, inconspicuous. What was the name of the bad guy? Calypso. Calypso. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. That was another bad guy. It's okay, so if I you, you gave me Sweet Tooth, right? That 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 is the face of the franchise. I don't give a shit about anybody else. They, they get Grim Reaper. The the, the was he need that the. Give me Axel. I remember, yeah, Axel, Axel, the, guy, yeah the, Axel. the guy, the guy, the guy in the, in the, the guy in wheel, the two right? wheels, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, one. I mean, there was a, the, the there was hearse. There was the crimson. Hearse. Crimson was crimson. A sports car. It was I think it was like a white car. I don't. I don't know. That's the only one that I remember. They, then you had Warhog with the with, Warhog yeah, and the, the Hummer. big ass truck. Yeah. Yeah. Then. Yeah, well, Who's no. the one that, who was on the bike? Fuck. Was that the Green Reaper on the bike? Then? I don't know. I'm gonna look. He, I, rem- I remember he had the, the OP super that sh- they shoot the skull or some shit. But... Pell Rider. According to this. Pale Rider. That's what his name? The oh, Pell yeah, Rider. So then, yeah, that sounds like death. Yeah. This Let's see the characters. Okay, so this is my thing on that though. Like on going back to the twisted thing. Like, do you really think you need a whole series to cover? Like, I mean, they do a character each season, or <laughs> a character per episode, maybe. For that, I don't know. But are you gonna put like high caliber actors on, <laughs> on every single. Like, it, has to be, it doesn't have to be high kind of well, actors, but you know, just well done. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're telling me you're gonna pull in like Anthony, right? Like, oh, I forget his name. Anthony uh, Falcon. Jack. Falcon. Okay, you're gonna put Falcon. In. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only role that I know him as. His name is Anthony uh, Mackie. I know he's done a lot of films. <laughs> Poor guy. I I seen two movies. Well, I seen two, one movie. Well, several movies and one. Episode with him for for me <laughs> for me he's always gonna be fucking Clarence from Eight, from Mile. Eight Mile yeah okay never mind I seen two movies with him. <laughs> I forgot that was him. there's a I think he does a movie with Denzel and he that one's pretty good too but no, I've seen I don't I don't remember Black- what it was called fuck I'm trying to find the goddamn k- player list for this game and I can't find fucking anything. Like the characters? Yeah, yeah, or? yeah. I'm trying to look for the character list. Let's go to Wiki, man. Uh, that's where I'm at, dude. This website sucks dick. <laughs> you want, like, the picture and the name of it? Oh, I just want the names, right? Oh, just the names. I like to see the picture and the names. Mm. Crimson Fury, Yellow Jacket. Yeah, there's a cab. Yellow ja- Mr. Grimm's the bike. And there's Minion with a tank. Hammerhead with a Bigfoot. Pit but, Viper was an awful but, vehicle. But isn't that the thing? Like that, it goes back to what I said. Like, don't didn't they change like a lot of the characters throughout the series? They did, but they kept like a core of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Outlaw was a cop. Thumper, Thumper was a lure. Thumper, yeah. There we go. So there was uh, fuck. Dark Side was an eighteen wheeler. That's the one, that. dude. That one was a motherfucker. I hated that one. <laughs> Can crazy ass horn before it comes and butt fucks you. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Uh, single player. Dude, nothing fucking tells me what I want. <laughs> okay, here we go. So there's Sweet Tooth, Yellow Jacket, Dark Side, Outlaw, Thumper. God damn it. Crimson Fury, that's the one that I remember. Pit Viper, Warthog, Mr. Green, Spectre. Oh yeah, hammerhead and roadkill, and then Calypso was the spoiler alert. The boss. Yeah, he was the one give granting the wishes. <laughs> yeah, I think he at the end he's like, "Fuck you guys! I'm gonna show you how to fucking use these goddamn cars and push your shit in." I mean, it was I. Right. I still like the black one. The ones from Black better. Those stories were actually a little twisted, so yeah, they were fun. Hey, get it? They were twisted metal. <laughs> like I think my favorite one was the boxer. The bo- 
boxer. Yeah, so if I recall correct, the wish of the dude from the boxer was to uh, find a doctor that messed him up. Because, like, he was a boxer, he lost the fight, and when they were, he they went to go repair him, like, his face and whatnot, the guy, I, like, sewed his eyes shut or his mouth or something like that. What the fuck? So he finds uh... him. Yeah, like, that was one of the stories. And the boxer, like, tells him, find him for me, and then, like, Calypso gives him like an extra present. He gives him like a glove with like nothing but like uh, surgical tools attached to it, just for him to punch him with, and that's how it ends. So it's like simple. I'm like, okay, I get you. Like I see why you're mad. Someone messed with your face. Someone messed with your face. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. now. I'm like, now I'm going to look for the roster for Twisted Metal Black. <laughs> Well, oh fuck! I was gonna say, well, I went to the Twisted Metal wiki, but I closed it, so never mind. <clears throat> Amy, Alex, very legendary. Which one? Puppy? Uh, no, but Twisted Metal. I'm saying, oh like, yeah. I enjoyed all of them. In the last one on the PS3. That was one on the PS3? Yeah, I think it was just called, like, Twisted Metal, and that was it, no? Or did it have some kind of stupid name? I don't remember. But I bought it. I remember buying it. It just sucks because they didn't continue making more maps because it was it was actually more dream to play online. But they didn't add more stuff to it, and it just died out. Yeah, Twisted Metal, Anthony Mackie. I don't know. Uh, I'll stay open-minded about it, but I'm going to prepare for the worst. (laughs) That way I'm not disappointed. Is is that what I should think about the Transformers movie as well? (laughs) Pretty much. Man. So I was... Reading up on the Transformers, the new Beast Wars thing, and it's supposed to be before the no. John what, the with Wiki John with Wiki the John Wiki movies. Yeah, but yet it's Unicron. So, like, how can the Earth forget about Unicron? Like, I don't know. It's just I'm hoping that what I'm reading is wrong because it, it really sounds. Like, they're going to pull, like, some random thing out of their ass. Not that the last ones were any good, but... <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it goes, man. Man, did we, I, I, it goes back to all the stuff that we said, man. They could have made, like, a badass crossover. Uh, I, I mean, at this point, it's throw that in, right? You could have done Twisted Metal with Fast and the Furious Fast and, the and Furious, Transformers. Dude. It'll be called Fast and Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. That's how it should end. Vin Diesel becomes a Calypso. <laughs> no, he becomes... Uh, who? Which one is... Some tw- He becomes Sweet Tooth. Oh, I could see that. I could see that. Mm, he's not tall enough. Fuck. And whatever. He can fucking be whoever he wants. <laughs> as long as it's about family. <laughs> Man, it's... Uh, you know, I was uh, watching uh, some uh, interview with, what's his name, Spawn Guy? The, the, My, Michael the... Jai White? Yes. Like, I didn't, I knew he, when he picked Spawn, he was kind of like into martial arts, but I didn't know how later on, they like, come way later on, I find out this guy's like an actually. Yeah, he's a legit martial artist. Yeah, it's like legit bad motherfucker. I'm like, God damn. And then one of the interviews, they were talking about Steven Seagal, how, how everybody, like from the director to his agent to the 
the co-stars of this film, they really wanted him to fucking fuck up Steven Seagal. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to fuck up Steven Seagal. Like, don't you get it? Like, like he fights where Steven Seagal doesn't. Like, there's a difference between Yeah, Steven Seagal, does. like, performs. Yeah. Like, he knows he could, I guess, defend himself in a way. But he's a fucking fighter. It's a different thing. Yep, that's not just Steven Seagal because he thinks he's a fighter. Yeah, I, I know. That's why. That's that's why the whole point of the whole thing is like, it was like I'm not gonna do that, but it had to. I uh, like totally could fuck him yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, apparently, like nobody likes fucking working with Steven Seagal. <laughs> yeah, exa- exactly. That's why people wanted wanted him to fuck him up. I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't know this about Steven Seagal. Like, I, I didn't mind the guy. Like, his movies are okay. He was kind of stupid sometimes. Oh, but... yeah. <laughs> right? Especially when like, he started, like, acting black. What? Yeah, like, you know how he started off just as, like, some shitty action hero? Yeah. And then like, he, the, he, the he, movies like, were okay. But... Then he went into, like, being some kung fu guy. Where he had like the Fu Manchu and he would wear like Japanese clothes and shit. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, after that, like, uh, I guess he moved to like Memphis or Louisiana or some shit. And he started talking real Cajun like, oh, did that way you gonna talk around here? <laughs> and then he was like a sheriff or some shit. <laughs> Like I, isn't there like isn't there like documentaries of like have you have you just ever shitting seen, on Steven Seagal? Have you ever seen a Steven Seagal movie garbage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen. I mean, okay. So remember, I, I used to watch like a lot of like TV in Mexico. So you saw it like with a Mexican accent or or Mexican yeah. voiceover or yeah. But the, the Steven Seagal movies were like I don't want to say huge, but like they would pass them every Saturday. <laughs> I, I'm not fucking around though. Like every Saturday, you saw Steven Seagal movie on the movie on the on the on the on, on, tele- TV, on yeah. television. Yeah, like not cable, just regular television. From what was it the the late eighties or early nineties? Nineties, man. In the nineties, that's when there was a lot of uh, act- there there were the action movies that you would see between like eleven and two. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, like. If you didn't have cable, you could just turn on the TV and you would have like yeah, you know, sh- sh- shitty ass judo or whatever the fuck he practices. Aikido, Aikido. <laughs> whatever, man. So, but yeah, like <laughs> I remember he was always on trains, hopping up and down, and I don't know. This guy like could f- take on guns somehow. Like I'm just like, come on, like I'm 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 a kid and I know that's bullshit. Like. <laughs> So no, yeah, it's horrible movies, man. I always loved like the early ones when it was super brutal. He was just snapping arms and shit. <laughs> Wait, didn't didn't uh, Matt TV used to make fun of him? Like, Fuck he would break yes, dude. Neck? Will Sasso did the <laughs> best Steven Seagal, man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Now. I like he does his real squint. Yeah, yeah, he's eyes. always squinting his eyes. <laughs> and anytime anyone asks him a question, like he takes it personal and shit, and that's when he loses it. <laughs> uh, if if anyone listening hasn't seen the Will Sasso impressions of Steven Seagal, they're fucking prime time. When uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon came out, they did a skit where Steven Seagal wanted to do that. But, like, apparently he used to want to do all his own stunts, uh, Tom Cruise style. So he was like, oh, I can fly. I can do that. If they can do it, I can do it. They made him really stupid. So fucking, like, he, they would, like, go to the tall tops of the trees. And, like, he would he would be, like, on a little platform. And he'd be like, okay, I'm going to do it. And he would just run. And then he would fall and eat shit. And he would do it, like, 20, 30 times. And he would just be so pissed off. At the very end, I think they put him on a soapbox or something, and he's just holding the top of the tree, and he's like, hey, my magical martial arts, or whatever the fuck. Oh, man, Matt TV. Matt TV, at one point, was better than SNL. Yeah. <laughs> and it was very short, very brief, but it was. 
And what was one of the ones that I like? The the little Asian girl, Miss Wan. Miss Wan, there you go. Like, dude, that one was. He looking like a man. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking uh, Will Sasso is fucking awesome with impressions. Uh, if you guys remember uh, Mad TV, there was another guy that did pretty decent impressions. Uh, Frank Caliendo. Yeah, it's like I heard this John Madden. Yeah, yeah, he does an amazing John Madden. Uh, but fucking uh, Will Sasso, he did an amazing fucking Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. His Schwarzenegger fucking cracks me up every time. There's a there's a like a skit where they they get Arnold to do a voiceover for an animated movie, and like he doesn't know what he's doing because he's uh, a dumb meathead that does action flicks. So like they're like, oh, you just need to think you're the character and pretend to be the character. So his character is like a lion or some shit. So he wears a lion costume and he's just like, yeah, I, I'm a lion. Ooh, be scared. Oh, uh, 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 and he would just go fucking bananas in the studio. Oh, he was a monkey. He wasn't a fucking lion. He's like, oh, I'm a monkey. Give me a banana. I need a banana. I'm a monkey. Man. Fuck, man. I'm going down memory lane. I just I'm trying to like Stuart. Stuart, was... look what I can do. <laughs> ah, you said me song already. Lorraine was annoying, man. Lorraine, which one is that one? That one was the older, like the skinny lady. Oh, that... what, was that the one where like she would put on like a bunch of makeup where she looked like she was sunburned? With the cabana uh, boy? I don't think I saw a skit. Uh... It, it's, she's like an older lady with glasses and she makes like this weird noise. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, it's like... You mean Jordan Peele's from there, too? Yeah, Kim Peele started there. Yeah. Shit, I did not remember him. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Damn, man. Lowered expectations. Do you remember that, puppy? No, I didn't watch oh. Mad TV. Like, mm-hmm. I, saw, I saw when it was good. When all those guys were there, yeah, wasn't yeah. it Aaron Spears? Aaron Spears, too? yeah, yeah. And then I stopped watching after a while. I stopped watching all that stuff, like not in a bad way. It's just like, ow. Oh shit, Bobby Lee's from there too. Yeah, Bobby Lee was also from there. This is after I stopped watching it. You know what movie I saw? I know you've seen it. Uh, Desi, the nope. <laughs> mm-hmm. I finally watched it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which was that one? The one with the racist town, the racist beach? <laughs> the racist or the town, it, or, racist beach. Or the, the racist one with the beach. racist aliens. Hold on, which one is the racist <laughs> beach? <laughs> For the one they take the bo- body to one? Oh, the, this is us or some shit? <laughs> us? The others? Some... I'm close. I'm close with one of those. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Uh, Get Out was pretty decent. I liked it. Yeah, that one, I I, I like that one. But yeah, Nope is the one with the racist aliens. <laughs> so what did you think, puppy? Nope. <laughs> Nope is the rating. Yeah, I second that, man. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, like, I think it was under horror too. I was looking at that. Yeah, horror? yeah, it's under horror. Like, no, it's a nope. sci-fi movie. If anything, yeah. barely. Yeah, the only part yeah. that I liked was the the shit that they talked about with the monkey. Yeah, I was gonna tell you that. Like, what the fuck has to do? What the monkey do with anything? So, you, did, you know did the I miss the, it the, Asian, the Asian dude that runs the park. You no, know, no, I understand all that. Yeah, well, he was a little kid when the monkey went ape shit. Yeah, so it fucked him up, right? Yeah, I I don't, I don't know why that. Had... Or have you seen any garbage? Do you care? I sincerely don't care. <laughs> like for some reason, it's like I want to see it, but I start watching it and it bores me. Nope was good though. I mean, Nope, uh, Get Out was actually pretty good though for me. So it was different. So I guess that's why it was good. But then, like, the other movies kind of have that same feeling that I'm just like. Yeah, they're pretty much all the same. 
Ja. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the the sheets at the end? <laughs> the Savannah, dude. The aliens, puppy. Yes, I did. They, <laughs> they look like a fucking tablecloth on a windy day. Yeah, at the end when it transforms and shit. Yeah. Hey, but it, it's, you know what? It kind of remind me of the whole movie, or not? Like he tried to be a Tarantino sci-fi movie for some reason. I don't know. What do you mean with like just a whole bunch of dialogue? Yes, and you know how I had the sections or whatever. A bunch of, and... Yeah, like a bunch of sub stories or whatever. Yes, right? D- didn't it have like that feeling a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying like church, you know, fucking. I, I never like m- made that connection, but now that you say it, that yeah, I totally see it. Yeah, but like, I, I just it was just like I, I don't get it. Like I got the movie, but I was like, just there's no point of this whole story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the monkey thing. It really had nothing to do with anything. Yeah, I thought something was gonna happen. Like, where the monkey gonna come out out of the fucking sheets or something? Yeah, I was. Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the monkey wasn't just trapped in the sheets the whole time. Yeah, we were come out. Is he driving it? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, or, yeah. or, or was there gonna be a connection? Cause the monkey went crazy because that thing because appeared. Because the sheets or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It just maybe he's trying to create his own universe. Possibly, possibly. Because that's that's what everybody nowadays is trying to do, right? Like, Universal tried to create their monster universe. Uh, Avengers is doing obviously the cinematic Marvel universe, DC, and uh, what is that successful movie? The Conjuring, right? They did The Conjuring, The Nun, Annabelle. Like, and supposedly they're all connected in one way or another. So maybe he was trying to start that off with that movie, just with random stories. Eh, I don't know. I don't know what he was going for, but... Nope. Or maybe he was just trying to, like, something that the fan base can... Like, speculate and shit? Speculate on, kind of like... I mean, obviously, I'm, don't jump at me, Desi, right? But, like, Hellraiser, right? They <laughs> define, they define, but they don't define... Everything with the first movie, it was still a good movie, but it left it with like a lot of speculation. Okay, who, who are they? Where are they really from? Like, from what hell. does this mean? Well, and they're, like, but for, they're from there, an there was, alternate there was no definitive dimension. answer. Yes, well, and that's all you could answer, right? But you could speculate more on, right? That's how cult followings and a bunch of stuff starts, right? Like, oh, this is a story that I can make up for this guy. So, yeah. And then eventually he ends up taking over the internet or something. <laughs> I don't know. No, right? <laughs> he, he, somebody illegally copied him on a DVD or some shit. Or... Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, no, there was a Cenobite that had a CD player or some dumb shit. <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not kidding, there was. Yeah, I know there was, but. What do you think? I don't know, man. They're fucking alien. That just... I don't know. Like, with a jaw. He's trying to be Jaws, but alien. That's actually another good... Another good uh, comparison, yeah. Because, you know, he was like Jaws. Think, like, like, he wouldn't show they it. They never and, showed the monster yet, yeah. Yeah. Until the end. And how... You know, it was there looking at the... And they were the all like, <gasps> fucking the sister was annoying as fuck, man. I don't know. Like, yeah, I hated she, her too. She, she should have died. I'm just saying. <laughs> they, she should have been on the one on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, I don't waste your time garbage on it. Yeah, it's a, it's a pass. Uh, I haven't even seen the stuff that is being overhyped in the last couple of weeks. I still haven't seen Mario, man. I saw it. Yeah, I guess I, you saw it. I <sighs> here look <laughs> let me tell you this I expected it to be fucking terrible it was pretty decent okay did, did, did why like why did we need a Mario movie we didn't 
We do. Or at least... Uh... <laughs> Why not, man? Yeah. Why, yes. I mean, I mean, like, it's a fun character. Like, the world is there, but did they fuck it up, Tissy? Or... Uh, no, not really. Like, the things that I didn't like about it, like, they kind of either corrected or made it acceptable, I guess. I don't know. Like, the fact that uh, the voice wasn't, like, the Mario that everyone knows. Uh, they, like, kind of make... They poke fun at it, right? So, that's cool. Like, they address, like, yeah, we know it's not fucking the asshole you've heard for the last 40 years, but uh, we're... He's going to die eventually, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're going to fire him. Who fucking knows? Like, the voice from Mario makes a cameo. You just got to... You just got to look for it. The The one thing I really liked was there was so many fucking Easter eggs, dude. Like, they did the fan service without, like, ruining the property, right? They weren't like, yeah, this is Nintendo. This is also Nintendo. Did we tell you about Nintendo? <laughs> like, it was very subtle. And you had to be looking for it. Because a lot of times I was like, oh, shit, was that this? And, oh, shit, I saw this in the back. Or, oh, look at that fucking thing. In... I, don't know. I, I liked it, right? I didn't hate it. I was expecting way worse. And I was surprised it wasn't terrible. <laughs> it's a kid's I mean, movie. So, yeah. You got to take it with that also. I and that, that's exactly why I'm like okay like I I don't care for the movie man like this like how much how much more is there left to explore in Mario <laughs> right? Like, that's, like, if you even with no context if you played the Super Nintendo one you understood it. Hey, rescue the princess, bad guy, fireball, jump. You made it in. The end. Like Yeah, but, the, but you'll get in depth in the world. It's not just okay. Science. Fine, I got to meet Joshi and <laughs> I don't know. You hear the backstory and then talk and interact with each other. That's something that you don't do in the game. Well, at least not that I know of, because I haven't really played more at all. The uh, like the later games, they there's interactions happening like with Peach. Yes. Yeah, but but that's the thing. It's like I get it. It's for kids. It's not for adults. Um. But even then, you're like, what really did the movie have to add that we didn't already know? Yeah, 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 for the people that know already. Like, okay, Mario, find the so, princess. Well, will you, if, if they make a Zelda movie, will you even watch it? Nah. If we they make a Zelda. Zelda movie? Yeah. That's different. Why? Because Zelda it, actually got, goes in depth in all the games. and it, Actually, the Zelda thing is that no game is ever the same story because there's so many different stories. Yeah. So that's... That one, it would be, okay, like, what version are we going to get? Are we going to get the best one of all time or are we going to get a brand new one or are we going to get the shitty, shittiest one version that's not even Link? It's like some other idiot. Um... So that one, okay, I get right. Um, like even let's if, if okay, if I'm gonna be judgmental with Mario, like same thing with like Sonic, right? Did you? Well, okay, so yeah, like, check this out. Uh, I think uh, I was telling Poppy about the Mario movie, and he was like, "So which one was better, Mario or Sonic?" And I personally like Sonic better as a movie. I'm gonna have to watch Mario now. <laughs> Just to see if I can agree, because I, I like Sonic, but that's because I also like Jim Carrey. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, and Jim Carrey was like awesome in that movie. So. Yeah, he was. He was. Well, with that, Jack Black really surprised me. I expected him to be like a stupid, fucking dumb Bowser, and he was very, very deep as a Bowser. Okay. So I, I like Jack Black. Yeah, so, I like Jack Black too. But like he has his like he's pigeonholed, right? He's the stupid fat funny guy. 
in everything he does, except for King Kong. <laughs> I, I I gotta say I like maybe like three of his movies, and he plays the same character. In all yeah, three exactly. Of them. That's that's what I'm trying to like, say. Like like the Pick of Destiny, um, a School of Rock, and actually like come on, what's it called? Nacho. Yeah, Nacho Libre is fucking. Yeah, awesome. Nacho you never seen, seen the Jackal? The what? The Jackal was Bruce Willis. That's the one with Bruce Willis, right? Yes. Yeah, when he, he, he uses he that badass him. gun. He has to use it on Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I just see this movie now. <laughs> just, just look up this one scene, dude. One scene of Jack Black and Bruce Willis. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> That's his best performance right there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll add it to you. <laughs> you, you you have to see it after that. You gotta see it, garbage. Oh, so, but yeah, like when Jack Black became famous, like I seen this guy somewhere. Where have I seen him? <laughs> he was also in that movie with John Cusack. Something records. You ever seen uh, Airborne? He comes out there. It's a stupid nineties movie. It's no. like a teen a teenager stupid nineties movie. It's about rollerblades. <laughs> no, and and hockey. It's like, like wow, well, yeah, World Blades and hockey, and Jack Black is comes out there like, oh. probably one of his first movies. And, you know uh, what? I take, I, uh, I take it back. I like Shadow House. That one's a banger, dude. Yeah. But, uh, another one. Fuck. What, uh, Saving Silverman, dude. Saving Silverman. Oh, a great I seen that movie. one. Yeah. That one I haven't seen. That one is a good uh, one, dude. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, there's there's like one part that I love quoting, and it's a Jack Black part. Like they're street musicians, him and two of his friends, and they love Neil Diamond. <laughs> so like they do a Neil Diamond cover band, and there's a part where like they're in a break or they're done playing for the day, and like they walk by and mime, and they're like, "Look at this fucking guy! He doesn't do anything," and they're giving him money, and he's like, "What does a mime sound like on his day off?" And he's like, "Fucking." sitting on a couch with his buddies and he's like oh i'm a mime Ooh, i'm a mime and he's like pretending to grab some titties i don't know what the fuck they're talking about i don't remember the context the context but he's like oh i'm a mime oh i'm a mime and they're like mimes don't talk and he stops and he's like they do when they're off duty and he gets all pissed off (laughs) he plays a good funny stupid guy i'm I'm looking at some of his other shit i forgot he comes out in some of these movies I forgot he comes out in uh, Enemy of State. Small role, right? But yeah, he's part of the the hackers. Right? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's in the van of the, mm-hmm. of, of the bad guy. Whatever yeah. government. <laughs> he comes out in Demolition Man. Does what? That's a new one of me. Yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm trying to remember. I'm him. trying to remember too. I don't. I know Rob Schneider comes out in it. Yeah, he's the police, the police operator, dude. I'm yeah, the fucking switchboard <laughs> operator. Yeah, he's a wasteland scrapper. I was gonna oh, say he's like the okay. third guy. He's whatever. one of the dudes underground that gets killed like yeah. right away. He gets run over by the car. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a great movie too. Fuck. So old school bangers, man. Oh yeah. That was ahead of its time. Well. We've already reached the time. Uh, next time we all get together, uh, I mentioned to the boys, we're going to take the dark triad test. So if you don't know what that is, do your research. And uh, the next time we all get together, we're going to take it on air and uh, we're going to find out who needs to be reported. <laughs> you guys, uh, you, got, you guys have anything else? Uh, last thing, I guess, nerd news. Um, <laughs> um, so Hasbro has been pushing shit far. They sent the Pinkertons to a YouTuber's house because uh, he bought product. He got handle. Uh, he got hang of product legally before it was release date, like in a month, and. <laughs> Like, they had no chill. They're like, now nah, we're just going to go send, like, this <laughs> private security firm or whatever they consider themselves to the doorstep to collect the shit. 
Yeah, the government don't fuck around, dude. <laughs> if, if this guy was if, obviously he did it, does this ruin anything for the fans, or does it just does it ruin the company only, or does it, or is just they just being idiots about it? Uh, so spoiler season, right? That's that's the way you see it, right? Like if if uh, just just the way we saw it, like today, right? We saw teaser trailers and a bunch of other trailers. So if the company preps all of this ahead of its time, which they do, they're about a month and a month and a half of stories, like. They get special spoilers and they send them to content creators. So, like, if you have like a TikTok account or you're a YouTuber or Twitter, or whatever, they'll send you one preview and they'll let you do whatever you want with it, as long as you get to announce it whenever they tell you. Uh, they'll let you know that ahead of time. So, this guy got a hold of the product, opened it up on camera, uh. and posted it on YouTube. He knew that the product wasn't out yet. So, like, it's kind of hard for me to kind of side with the YouTuber. You knew what you were doing. Like, you know that this company hates shit getting spoiled before it's time. You know that pe- people put in work to... To keep it secret and shit, yeah. To keep to keep it secret and the people that actually do get the privilege. Because it's a privilege to get, like, contact with the company. We're like, hey, we like your content. Would you like to reveal this card to the public right so you get views you get more money whatever like because nowadays that's what it is right content creators get money based on views and this is all planned way ahead of time and you just literally open the shit on camera <laughs> post it on youtube for everybody to see and the thing about this set this uh product that's coming out it's a new type of product that's coming out where like they're used to releasing 300 cards every three months or every two months this says about 50 to 60 cards. So technically, when he cracked the box, pretty much almost everything got spoiled. And there's been precedent to this about, I believe, 10 years ago, uh, what they call a God book, like uh, a list of all the cards, pictures, and everything got leaked, and they banned the people for like five plus years. Boy. So, yeah, because they're like, because they actually trust the people with the, the info. They're like, hey, by the way, we want you to write an article on this stuff that's coming up in the future. This Vato sent it out to his friend, and then they leaked everything out. So, again, like, if you're the company, like, hey, like, we've done, you've seen that we've done shit before to people. But at the same time, I heard, like, that there's a whole background behind the Pinkertons. So, like, that they are corrupt, that there's a bunch of other shit out there. I don't know how true that is, right? God but... damn it, Dutch. The goddamn Pinkertons are here. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently it's a Red Dead Redemption thing, yeah, too. Yeah, also, yeah. Which I, yeah. yeah. The, Pinker, the Pinkertons are, like, the government agency they they send to the West to tame the cowboys, essentially. So, I mean, there's people that are siding with, obviously, the YouTuber, because of who they sent out but they did tell the guy like hey we're gonna replace the product we're not just confiscating it like we're gonna send you what you paid for yeah he we'll, didn't... we'll make it up we'll, we'll, we'll give you what you paid for but fuck you for doing this you bitch <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn Pinkertons so yeah some people see it as like it was like a power move yeah for sure like hey like fuck fuck with us and find out yeah fuck around and find out idiot so, Goddamn I, I don't know, man. You guys, as people that are not familiar, like, was that too much? Oh, for sure. But I mean, you got to protect your assets. The only, I mean, I don't know how else you could do it, right? I mean, you can take them to court, it's going to take three, four years or whatever. Yeah, so that, that's the thing, right? Like, you try to contact them, yeah, exactly. and if he doesn't reply within a couple of days. Like, the more the videos out there, the more people get to, like, yeah, the more people see it and the more reach it gets. And we got to send the goddamn Pinkertons. And <laughs> not, not only that, like now nowadays, like uh, they posted the product like for pre-sale. So if people don't like what they see, people don't buy. Yeah, they're not going to buy it. Yeah, they're not going to buy it. So and it's like the last year there was like a lot of struggle with sales where people were like they had lost confidence in the company. So pre-sales were going down and like. Uh, the B- Bank of America had to get involved where they're like, hey, by the way, we have stock in Hasbro. We're going to double downgrade it, sell it, because they're, they're, they're shit. They're like, they're a shit company right now. And like last week, the Bank of America came out again and was like, they're still a shit company. <laughs> so if you have stock, <laughs> just dump sell it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like when your CEO is reading from Wikipedia, the product that you're selling, 
it's fucked up. Like you're the CEO of a company and you have to read Wikipedia to to find out that this shit happened to, happen. to yeah. describe your own product. So, yeah, sounds about right. Well, you got them Pinkertons are at it again, Dutch. <laughs> Yeah, when you asked if we knew what the Pinkertons was, I was like, fuck yes, I know who they are. And fuck the Pinkertons. <laughs> I've never played the game. I want to play it now. Come on, yeah. Dutch. It's They're going to get your side, Dutch. Those those games are awesome, don't get me wrong, but the time it requires, I don't have that time. Yeah, anymore. dude, that's the thing. Like, There's so much shit in that game. Great game. One of the best games I've ever played. But goddamn, dude. Getting around the huge ass map on a horse sucks dick, but the world that's there is worth it. It's not boring. You, you can just, no longer do multiple games, and so you have to commit to one game. Yeah, pretty much, man. And that's that. Like, I, like what was it? I saw like a commercial based on Red 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 Dead Redemption, where like the guys like, hey, like tell us what the fuck is going on. And instead of like extorting him as a cop, like they bring his PlayStation out, and they're like. <laughs> Oh, look at this account. I wonder what could happen if we erase it, right? It's like, uh, you don't understand the account. Like, you have to get the perfect skin. You cannot shoot them. You have to hunt them down. And they're like, it's 100 oh, yeah. hours. You know, it's like, oh, shit. Like, 100 hours is a lot. In Red Dead? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, you can spend 100 hours just hunting. Yeah. You don't have to hunt at all to finish the game. If you ever just get like a long like time off of work or whatever, I recommend playing Red Dead. At least yeah. just doing the stories. Do you understand how many games I have on backlog? I probably I'm probably not gonna play half of the games that I have. Oh. I am next gen's gonna come out and I'm still gonna be playing. I haven't even played Elden Ring. <laughs> and and I bought it for my for my brother. <laughs> oh by the way, Armored Core six got announced already. Is it it well, is it a PlayStation exclusive, or did I read that wrong? Uh, if it is, I'm going to have to buy a PlayStation. Uh, and that's, you got me with that one. That is really... I, I fucking love their series. It is... It's it's robots, man. That's yeah. it. Like, that's... You... And then it's from uh, the publishers of... Uh, yeah, it's from N Software. Yeah, the publishers from what? Dark Souls? Like, the Souls? From, yeah, from Elden Ring. Yeah? So... And PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, no. It's actually going to be on... Everything? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm on, on PC. Yeah, my PC can handle it. <laughs> All right. Well, it was good having the boys back. Uh, Poppy, you have anything? No, I didn't. Mm, well, hopefully everybody that's tuned in is uh, in good health and in good spirits. I'm your boy, Desecrator. This was Hanging Heavy. Much love. And rich and rare. This is hanging heavy.